With the release of version 1440 of PLS Pole, you can quickly and easily add a push brace to a wood pole structure. While this has always been possible in the program, the new feature makes the process more streamlined. For example, let's look at a PLS CAD light model with a simple distribution dead end structure and a small 10 degree angle. When you do a structure check in PLS CAD light, you can see that the pole fails as it has a large usage and is rendered red. A typical solution to something like this would be to place a down guy to oppose the angle, but let's suppose you cannot place a down guy in that direction. You may find it easier to place a push brace pole to support the structure on the interior of the angle. To do this in PLS Pole, you can simply select Edit from the Structure Check dialog and it will launch PLS Pole and you can go to the Geometry Wood Poles dialog where you will want to first go to the Attachment Labels column and place an attachment for the push brace on the existing pole. Let's call the joint PB and we'll place it a distance of 4.5 feet from the top of the pole. You can choose to add bolt holes to this joint as well to account for the attachment hardware at this joint. Then hit OK and you will go to the second row and fill out the data for the push brace pole. We'll give it a label of PB and pick a Southern Pine Class 3 45 foot pole. We do not need to add any attachment labels on the pole as we are going to attach to the tip of the pole. But if you did want to add the attachment label further down the pole you could do so. Next select the push brace cell and the push brace dialog box will appear and you can check the option that says this pole is a push brace. Then you can pick the joint that you wish to attach to on the brace pole, which was the joint PB, and we'll leave the tip joint as the attachment joint on the push brace pole. Next you can enter an offset from the face of the pole in each case to account for any hardware used to join the poles. For this example, let's say 3 inches or 0.25 feet. Next you will want to select where the base of the push brace pole will fall. You can change the ground Z if necessary. For the azimuth, we'll enter 180 degrees to orient the brace so it is on the interior of the angle. Then you can choose whether to use a lead length or slope to define the end. For this example, let's say we are limited to a 15 foot lead length. Then hit OK and you will see how the embedment columns turn gray and are calculated automatically for you in order to account for the geometry of the pole. After OK and out of the table, you will see the pole with the push brace, and you can save and exit the model and return to PLS CAD Lite. Now you can do a structure check and you'll see how the pole now passes without any issues from the line angle. So you can see how easily push brace poles can now be added in PLS Pole. If you would like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you would like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at powline.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.